What's going on assassins? It's Dark Shard of the YouTube Assassin and about a week ago I decided to put up a survey. I wanted to know exactly when people started having problems with Assassin's Creed Valhalla as far as the saves. There's all kinds of other things going on and it's just really out of control with all the bugs and whatnot. But there are a couple of particulars that are going on. Obviously the failed save game, a lot of you are noticing that I can't make a video anymore without having failed save game show up. So I wanted to know exactly when all that started happening to you guys. And you guys responded. So there were well over 200 votes. And there were some people that chimed in that did not vote. So here is what's going on as far as when uh, the question was are you getting the save game error in Assassin's Creed Valhalla if so when did it first happen so 50 percent of those people polled actually said immediately after update 1.22 now this is a really big problem that every time Ubisoft puts out a brand new patch an update a hot fix it ends up doing more harm than good and that is problematic we really shouldn't be having that a lot of people have also been telling me that the load screens are really really taking a long time on ps5 as you can see it took no time for me to get there but once i'm there i have the problem of the failed game save and that's going to keep popping up several times but a lot of you are actually saying that that is one of the things you're experiencing and there is some speculation from some people that that is being purposely done so that you upgrade to the next gen consoles people are claiming to experience that in a variety of games not just valhalla so i'm not going to count it as a valhalla only issue but a lot of people are saying that that is an issue a lot of loading screens are not Get just happening quickly they're taking forever river raids especially takes forever so that's kind of crazy that you know like we're going through that but i just wanted to put that in perspective now back to the survey the next thing that we had on the survey the next item was about the mastery challenges did you start getting this error after you started doing the mastery challenges a whopping 50% of you said immediately after the update. Only 8% said after doing the mastery challenges. That's when it first kicked in. And I kind of feel like that's when it first kicked in for me. Because once I started doing them, that is pretty much when I started having the problems. After I got out of it, or even while I was in it. After that, I asked, what about after doing the river raids? And 9% of you said that it was after the river raids. And there are not just those problems there where you had the save error data. You also have been noticing that your ship, the long ship, is actually completely devoid of everything. Every time you go to check your ship, every time you go to put something on it, it'll be there for maybe a day or two or while you're playing that game session. And then it all disappears. Not just that, but the Jums Vikingers that you have that you try to actually put different items on. If you try to organize and change the look of your Jums Viking, that also seems to cause this problem. So it's just really weird that everything that we want to do so far is indeed a problem. Every time you want to make a change, you want to make an alteration, it seems that that is what's causing a lot of these problems. And some of it is game breaking because people are constantly complaining that they lost their saved data. Now, past that, I asked, what about since the Wrath of the Druids DLC? And 13% of you said that that is when you started noticing these errors. Now, when I started playing uh, Wrath of the Druids, I did not notice any game save errors at all. I did not notice any data corruption errors at all. What I did notice, though, were collision problems. Collision being every time Eivor takes a step, 
the foot collides with the ground, Contract. meaning that there is a code so that that way Eivor doesn't fall through the floor and Eivor doesn't Perhaps just fly it. into the sky. But for some reason, any time Eivor hits specific spots, it, I don't even know how, not even specific spots, but just random spots, it'll launch Eivor into the air. Some of you have said she gets launched uh, horizontally, like across town and stuff like that, like through buildings and whatnot. So I don't know what's going on there. But what I do know is that, for me at least, it hasn't really been a problem. Now, another problem that I am having in this area is collecting all of the uh, opal that's in this spot. Opal, there is one opal and several people have the same problem where it's actually hidden in a chest. And obviously that makes it difficult. But other than that, I never really had any problems while I was in Ireland. Uh, I completed it okay. There were some people who had problems. They couldn't find uh, Kiara. There were certain like cut scenes where she wasn't there or she wouldn't appear or certain areas that you couldn't talk to her. And we've been seeing that a lot in the mastery challenges. A lot of people had a problem where they could not even talk to Hildy to start the whole thing. So, you know, these are like little problems where honestly, I would not mind them so much. And I don't think anybody else would mind, you know, like little things here and there. But when it comes down to game breaking, obviously that's a problem. People don't want to go and play the game and be accosted by this kind of stuff. You want to be able to just play your game and play your game. If it happened like occasionally where there was some kind of error, then I could see people, you know, if you're complaining, then you're, you're just a whiner at that point. You know, like things happen in games every once in a while. But if, for it to happen constantly, it's absolute madness. Anyway, going on, the very last item that I asked about was since day one, meaning that since you first bought this game, and 20% of you said yes, since day one, I've been having problems, I've been having all these problems, and, you know, it, it still hasn't been fixed. Now, a lot of people have also commented that they have had no problems and I didn't put that up as an option but there are people that said you know I don't have that problems but then there are people that said well I don't have any of these problems at all I was able to play the game with no problem but I had this issue happen to me I had that issue happen to me I had the other issue happen to me and then some people just were lucky they didn't have any problems in all honesty from day one I was one of those people that had absolutely zero problem, or so I thought. When I got to one spot where it was dealing with a person who was trapped in a warehouse, I couldn't get him out of there. So in order to get him out of there, I actually had to kill a civilian and throw that civilian's corpse against movable objects that were not moving, and for some reason that collision allowed the object to move and the guy was able to get out of the warehouse and then I was able to 100% the game. Some people think, hey, if it's just one issue, why don't you just, you know, start the game over? You know what, when you're at the end of the game, why should you start over? The game should be fixed from day one, you know, and, and this is the problem that I'm having and this is why I make these videos on this subject and I actually send these videos directly to Ubisoft because I want them to know what's going on. It should not be that hard to appease your consumers. I mean, unless we're making ridiculous demands, we should be able to do this. Anyway, that's all there is to this video. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Do you have any other problems or issues that are coming up? Did you never have any issues that have come up? Or... Are you starting to see some issues and it's kind of taxing? I'd love to hear from you. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, 
take care of each other. I'll see you in the next one. You know how we end this. Yeah, yeah.